Hello, welcome to Just Prime. And as part of this video, we are going to see some of the major differences between the constructor and method which is available inside the Java. And as part of the previous videos, we have seen in detail about the method and constructor in a different videos. But now, in this video, we are trying to summarize the basic differences between this method and constructor in one video, and we'll try to compare with the simple Java program. So that way we will get a clear idea so that's the main agenda of this video and uh, let's jump into the uh, next uh, part uh, the basic differences then we'll try to compare the differences one by one with java program okay yeah if we see here right we can see there is some of uh, seven major differences between the constructor and java what i listed over here and we'll try to compare with one by one with the java program okay okay yeah let's see the first point we can see the first point is same the constructor name is same as the class name whereas the method name cannot be same as class name we can give the, some different name as well so this is the first major difference between the constructor and method so the constructor name always same as a class name whereas the method name same or, or not as class name so that is the one of the first major difference and now, now I'll just show one of the previous examples what I have written then we will get some more idea so if you see the constructor demo is one of the class what we have written in the previous videos and we can see the constructor here over here two constructors we have over here no argument constructor and argument constructor we can see the name is same as class name right this is an argument constructor and this argument constructor in both the cases the name is same as class name so this is the first difference and if you see the method you can see here right so print name the class name is different and print name to the class name is different and if you go to another example as well print my age print my address get my number so everywhere we can see the different different name in the method name while trying to compare the class name so this is the first and major difference between the class of the constructor and a method okay and then now we'll go to the next difference is the constructor don't have any return type even void or and then method may or may not have a written value now let me go to the same java program and we can see the the differences if you see the constructor right so we don't have any return type here there is no void there is no interesting float anything similarly here there is no return type there is no void interesting float any data type we don't have um, <clears throat> before the constructor but whereas the method so if you see the method so we can see even at least void over here there is a void though we are not returning anything but we are indicating here we are not returning anything so that's what a kind of return type though we are not returning anything over here so we can see here also void and let me go to another method so we can see this is also another method a void is there here and this is also another method here also we have some return type integer so this is the second major difference between the constructor and method constructor should don't have any return type whereas a method may or may not return a value so this is the second difference okay the third one is basically the constructor in every program so if you are not writing any constructor in a java program so the default constructor will be provided with compiler and whereas in case of method we don't have any um, concept like a default methods so what i mean if I go to the same program go back here and if you see right so here we have a two constructors we have written say for instance these two are we have written manually explicitly and if you are not writing any constructor that means say for instance these two constructors are not there so in this case there is no constructor in this program but in this case what will happen when you try to compile this program so a dot plus file will be generated and when the dot plus file is generated a default constructor will be generated with no arguments no statement like this will be generated and will be appended to your dot plus 
file with the help of JVM. So this is the default constructor will generate if there is no constructor. If you are not provided any constructor, in that case the default constructor will be generated and will be added into your dot class file. So that we can see once you I mean uh, <coughs> decompile your generated dot class file. So that maybe I can show you in subsequent videos how to decompile dot class file and how to convert dot class to dot java file. So this is one of the default constructor which will be generated inside the java program if there is no constructor is available. Whereas in case of method we don't have such kind of a default methods. So it's a straightforward actually. Okay. So that's about default constructor and the de default methods. And now if you see the fourth point, so the fourth point will tell us the usage of the constructor and method. So basically the constructor mainly we are using to initialize the object to provide the initial values, right? Whereas the method is mainly used to execute or exhibit some of the functionality of the, to execute some of the functionality of an object. So there's some major of the difference between the object, a constructor, and method. I mean, what I mean here, basically, if you see back, if you see here, right, so constructor. So the constructor is mainly we are trying to use over here to initialize some of the uh, initial values. If you see, right, if you see here, we have an integer x here, and we are trying to initialize the integer x with the help of the uh, constructor, and that initialized value we are trying to extract from the object. We are we are trying to use it. So that's the major use case of the constructor to initialize the object to, to with some initial values. So whereas the method is to execute a piece of code and that can be executed with the help of uh, by calling the method with the help of object. Right. So that's the major difference between the major difference between the use case of the constructor and method. So that's the use is a difference between the constructor and method. Um, now we'll go to the next. I, I mean, uh, a difference is so how the constructor and method will be called. So that's what about the fifth point we'll talk. So constructor will be called implicitly, whereas method are called explicitly. What is meant by implicitly over here? So basically, so whenever we are trying to create an object for a a class so that time your constructor will be called implicitly whereas the method we have to call explicitly then only you can see the results now go back to the previous examples we see here right so we have a two uh, go to constructor first so we can see two constructors here so when these constructors will be called so the first constructor is a no augment constructor so this will be called so whenever we are creating no augment kind of object so whenever we are creating this kind of an object with no arguments so that in that case the no augment constructor will be executed and whenever we are creating an argument constructor the corresponding matching constructor will be executed so this is the way impl implicit execution of the constructor whereas the method will be executed Whenever you are calling a method with the help of object. So this is explicitly you have to mention the method name which method you are trying to call. Accordingly, the method will execute and it will provide the results to us. So this is the another uh, major difference between the constructor and method, the invocation approach. Okay. Yeah, that's about the invocation implicit and explicit process, and the next major difference between so how we are going to create the constructor and how, and how we are going to I mean, um, call this uh, methods. So basically the constructor will be called uh, whenever we are trying to create an object with the help of new keyword so that we have seen the previous point as well and whereas the method will be called by using an object basically it's explicit call. So with the help of object, we have to call the method. So that way, um, so we can able to invoke your method. Whereas constructor can be called when we are trying to create an object with the help of new keyword. So that is a simple difference. 
and the last and major difference between the constructor and method is so inside the constructor we can use some of the two keywords called this and a super so we can see that one we can we can, will try to use this this and super in more subsequent videos but just now try to keep in your mind this and super keywords can be used inside the constructor only whereas inside the method we cannot use this and super uh, keywords uh, let me show you quickly though we have not discussed about this point but let just try to keep in your mind so that you will get some uh, some more idea so if you see here right so we have a, a constructor over here so we can we can able to call like this so we can able to call super and if you try to call the same thing in method what will happen you will get a compilation error over here let me try to put the statement so we are getting a compilation over here and now let me remove this one so it's gone now go back to your constructor instead of you can see over here right let me pass here at 10 so what I'm trying to do over here so here this keyword I can able to use it right so if I try to use the same this keyword inside my method what will happen so it's giving a compilation error so this is the basic difference between the use case of this and super keyword between the constructor and method so inside the constructor we can use this and super keywords whereas the in case of method we cannot use it and uh, one more just a note so we are going to discuss this and super keywords in subsequent videos uh, more in detail actually so right now we just try to keep this difference in your mind so that way we can focus on this more in details in subsequent videos yeah, yeah i think uh, that's all about uh, the major differences between the constructor and method and if you like the video and you can click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more subsequent videos and thanks for your time for watching and thank you